Good morning, bowling fans. Bob Newman here at Classy Bowling Center early on a Sunday morning. Uh, it filled up pretty quick, so it's loud and uh, lots of balls going down the lane, but we're going to do a ball video motion, ball motion video for you this morning. This is on the Hammer 3D Offset Attack, just released last Friday. A little late in the video out, sorry about that. And we're going to show it in comparison to the previous released 3D Offset. Um, they're both pearl covers. One was uh, not finished with a compound, and one is finished with a compound. There's also a little difference in the stock, cover stock, as this one has the new HK22, which is a, a much cleaner and uh, more aggressive cover stock. So let's get to the lanes and take a look. I also want to add that uh, I just got a few shirts in from H5G. This is a, a pretty cool pattern that I picked out. It's the cheetah pattern. It's a cheetah here, a cheetah here, and then the whole thing is done. You can kind of see with a, the cheetah skin shown in the background. So H H5G is still uh, pumping out great shirts and uh, happy to have them. All right, let's uh, take a look at the ball motion. Thank you. Let's start with the uh, 3D offset, the original one. We're on the fresh this morning. There's more oil than I usually see here. That was pretty good. Throw one or two more with that. Throw one more with that. So as I was saying earlier, these two bowling balls were uh, both finished 15, or excuse me, 500, 1000, 1500. The 3D offset did not get a compound. But the uh, offset attack did get a compound. So it's going to be a little bit cleaner. I imagine it's going to be a little stronger down lane. All right. Let's migrate a little left. So the reset button wasn't working on this earlier. Let's see if it's working now. Nope, I got no reset button. It's going to make for a long video. Sorry, guys. Okay. Throw one more with the pink. I'm going to move a couple left. I think I threw that one a little bit slow. Still a little bit stiff, and so I bowled the tournament yesterday. Pulled about 12 games. All right. So there's your 3D offset. Now let's go to the 3D offset attack. I'm going to throw it in the same place. I'm going to stay in the same place, try and throw it in the same place. I think it's going to be a little bit bigger, but we'll see. That's pretty good. Yeah, that read much earlier, much stronger down lane. And all well, the balls taking its time coming back. Let's see if I can can't give you some numbers here. So the attack was finished at 500, 1,000, 1,500 Sia Air, which I mentioned before. Uh, it's designed for medium to heavy oil. I'm not trying to make this pair. I'm just throwing the ball to clear the pins. Maybe I should do that all the time. Um, the numbers on it. At 15 pounds, you're looking at an RG of 2489, a differential of 053, and the asymmetries on it is 00 .008, which is very mild. So it's kind of another one of those bridge balls between symmetric and asymmetric. All right, I'm going to move three left off that last shot, move my eyes in a couple, and we should be pretty close. That should be good. I like that. So this ball is definitely uh, 
sees the friction a little bit stronger. You can see it's a little bit more angular down lane. All right. A nice spare on the lanes next to me there. Okay. Come on, ball. Wow. I got that in a little bit in the oil, and that hooked up really nice. All right. This is uh, the new HK22 cover stock that they're using uh, now in the, the, the Defender Hybrid and the Columbia Top Speed. I think you're going to see it in more and more bowling balls because it's, uh, it's pretty good. It wants to go through the pins really nice. Maybe out a little bit. Yeah, probably a little slow. Sunday morning. All right, I'll throw one more with that. Uh, throw in standard, and then I'll try and hook one up for you. See if we can't really open up the, the shot. Oh, I wish this flame would reset. <laughs> that had no thumb in it. <laughs> oh, well. All right. We're going to throw it that slow. I probably need to be a little bit left. That should be pretty good. Boy, that's, uh, there's no doubt that that's going to go through the pins nice. That, that 10 pin had no chance. All right, I'm going to move five left and really chart up my hand on it. See if we can't open the lane a little bit. See if I can't get up to the uh, Chris Wanstra 520 range here. All right, five left. Hand turned up. Here we go. Got into that one, and you can see what happened. <laughs> I'll go, uh, I'll throw that one one more time, but I'm gonna go one more left. Maybe two more left. God, I wish this reset button would work. Here we go, no thumb again. Maybe I should have shot my spares like that yesterday. All right, last ball. And turned up. Big reds. Here we go. That's maybe too many. Well, you can see it definitely will pick up if you want to jump on it. You want one more? We'll give it one more. Get a lot cleaner release if I don't use a thumb. All right, here we go. There you go. That should be everything you need to see on that bowling ball. Again, it's uh, it's going to pick up sooner and be more angular than the the original.